I'm gonna play a game of guess the football club by their players' nationalities. Every time I guess correctly, I get to sign a player from that team. But every time my ball knowledge gets exposed, I'm gonna have to sign that team's worst player. Oh, what club could this be? A Brazilian striker, Brazilian left winger. I'm already confused. Okay, wait, there aren't many good Norwegian players and oh, Wait, wait, wait. That could be Erdegaard. Saka on the right. Dabriel Aces up top. Yo, I'm cooking. This has got to be Arsenal. And yes, boys, it is Arsenal. Just like that, I can now sign any player I want from Arsenal. But what I forgot to mention was that our budget's not unlimited. We've got a billion pounds, which might seem a lot of money. But with that, we need to build a full team. Because just look at the state of our team right now. It's horrendous. So we got to be smart about how we use our money. I want to sign Martin Erdegaard, but he'll literally wipe out one day of our budget. So no, I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I think I'll go with Declan Rice. And there you go, we pulled off the Declan Rice signing. Had to pay 72 million though. But he's the first player we're putting into our team. Oh, look at Declan Rice there among a bunch of NPCs. We gotta get him some good teammates. For that, we need to guess this football club correctly. And okay, this formation has put me off completely. Six Spaniards means that it's gotta be a club from Spain. Argentinian, it could be like Acuna. Maybe Sevilla? No, it can't be Sevilla. Acuna plays on the left. Wait a minute, the nationality beside Belgian is Montenegro. Negro, I think. Forgive me if my flag knowledge is awful, but that could be Stefan Savage. And that means this has got to be Atletico Madrid. Please be Atletico. And yes, sir, it is. Not gonna lie, getting Antoine Griezmann from Atleti does excite me. Oh, but that value is just crazy. I don't want to pay that much for him. Maybe since it's Atletico who are known to defend, we should get like a defensive player. Or better than that, why not just get one of the best keepers in the game, Jan Oblak? And that's exactly what I did. I spent 68 million to to bring Oblak into the team. Declan Rice and Oblak as our first two players is not bad at all. But I think I need to be mindful of the money we're spending because we're already down to about 850 million. Let's keep the perfect streak going with the next guess. Ooh, I'm confused here. Couple of Germans, so this should be the Bundesliga. But I can't think of which club. I'm thinking between Bayer Leverkusen and Munchen Gladbach. Yeah, probably Munchen Gladbach, I think. So I think I'm gonna go with that, but I'm a bit confused. And it's gonna be no. Oh, Leverkusen. Oh, it kind of was obvious. I'm such an idiot. I completely forgot about Boniface, who's been destroying the Bundesliga. Palacios there was an easy one, too. I don't know why I didn't even look at the keeper, because the Finnish flag basically meant it was Radecki. That's an L. And you know what that means? We got to sign the worst player by Leverkusen have, and that's Madi Munami, a 17-year-old centre-back who's 60 rated. Huh. <sighs> Had to sign him to our team for a million. He's only going to make the bench, but if we keep guessing incorrectly and adding players like that, we're going to get destroyed in the Champions League. That's right. Once we completely build the team, we're going to see if we can actually win the Champions League with it. So we need to keep adding good players in. I don't want to do a Man United and finish last in the group. Okay, I got to get this next one right. And oh no, this looks tough. Four Italians mean it's probably Serie A. Okay, let me reverse engineer this. Poland has got to be Chesney. So, yup, yup, yup. Yep, Serbian is Vlahovic. French might be Rabio. This is Juventus. Let's go. Got that one right. From Juventus, I decided to go with Federico Chiesa because I managed to get a really good deal on him. 50 million seems like a bargain for a good forward. I'm on a roll, so let's keep it going. Ooh, this might be tough. Canada flag in the middle. Portuguese at the back. Four Brazilians. But wait, that Iran flag reminds me of Taremi. It's got to be Porto. Yup, it's Porto. I'm crediting my flag knowledge for that. Porto don't have too many crazy good players, so maybe I can use this to sign a player for the bench? Managed to sign Evanelson for 24 million. I mean, he's nothing too crazy. 78 rated, but I think we need these kind of players. Heading on to our next pick, and ooh, this one. Well, no, no, no. This isn't tough. Moroccan Hakimi. Three French players forward. It's gotta be PSG. Yup, we've got Mbappe, Kola Mouani, and Dembele. I'm locking in PSG, and it is PSG. Now, this is big, because we've got a decision to make, because Bro, we could sign Mbappe, maybe Dembele. Regardless, it could be a crazy expensive transfer. Guys, I think I want to do this. It's Kylian Mbappe, man. We want to win the Champions League with this team. What better than Mbappe? Plus, his contract's expiring. Oh, but remember, once we run out of budget, we can't sign more players to our team. And if we don't complete this squad, we could end up with a team of these uh, silly 66 rated players. And yeah, we're definitely not winning the Champions League then. But I'm taking the risk because it's Kylian 
in Mbappe. Okay, what if we do 130 million for Mbappe? Contract expiring. We could get a deal. Ooh, but to be fair, 157 isn't that outrageous. Oh man, the negotiations are going to be extremely stingy, but okay, 144. If I can get them to stick with 140, bro, that would be a deal. For Mbappe, I will gladly take that. And there you go. It kind of feels like we've almost spent one fifth of our budget, but we've got Kylian Mbappe. We're down to almost 600 million now. But hey, I guess it's worth it because we've got Mbappe. But yeah, we need to still improve the rest of the team. We can only do that by getting the guesses correct. Now, what is this? So many Spaniards. I'm thinking this is Athletic Bilbao. No, it's Real Sociedad. I'm an idiot. I just realized Athletic Bilbao would have had every player Spanish because that's what they do. This had to be Real Sociedad. How did I not realize with Takefusa Kubo in the team? And our punishment for getting the guess wrong is we're adding this guy into the team. Pablo Marin, 63 rated. Brilliant. Cost me a million as well to do this. Nah, I'm not going back to back with wrong guesses. Okay, this one's confusing. Is this from the Premier League? One eternity later. Could this be like Brighton or something? Wait, do Brighton even have left wingers? Okay, no, maybe Wolves. Wolves. I'm going with Wolves. What? Yo! AC Milan have more English players than Italian players in their team. How was I supposed to know that? I can't believe I just spent a million signing this Chaka Traore guy from Milan. 62 rated as well. Yo, our bench is going absolutely for a toss. I don't even think I'm worried about the money now. We just need to get some guesses correct. By the way, guys, we're just 50,000 subscribers away from reaching a million. You guys know it's been my dream ever since I started YouTube to reach a million subscribers. And if you guys can help by subscribing, that would be just awesome. Okay, come on. I need to start getting some guesses right. What could this be? Two Brazilian strikers up top. Which club has got two Brazilian strikers? An English cam? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uruguay could be Fede Valverde. Then this has got to be Real Madrid. Yeah, because nowadays they play Vinicius and Rodrigo up top. Yep, that makes sense. And there you go. It is Real Madrid. Madrid. Oh, getting a guess from Real Madrid is huge because they've got some incredible players that we can sign. We've got 600 million as well. Do I go crazy with Real Madrid and get an insane player? I mean, we could do that. Maybe Jude Bellingham or oh, someone like Vinicius Jr. would just eliminate most of our budget. Okay, guys, I think I've made my decision. Jude Bellingham, let's just go with it. I know this is going to be super expensive and wipe out a lot of our budget, but guys, it's Bellingham. We'll definitely lower our expenses for future signings, but it does look like we're going to have to spend about 125 million for Jude Bellingham, which is crazy. But hey, to have Jude Bellingham and Kylian Mbappe in our team, that could be game changing. Okay, I just realized that we might have been investing too much in our midfield and attack because we've not got a single decent defender and we're down to less than 500 million. I think for my next few picks, we got to choose some defenders to sign. Okay, what could this one be? Portuguese, Moroccan in the midfield? Wait, wait, wait. Goalkeeper Cameroon this has got to be Man United. Oh, yeah, it makes sense. Varan French, Lisandro Martinez, Argentinian, Rasmus Hoyland, striker. Yup, yup, this is United. And there you go. We got this one right. I'm on a roll here. We needed a defender, and Man United's got options like Lisandro Martinez. But I think Rafa Varan is just perfect for us. Because of his age, I was able to sign him for just 43 million. Moving on to the next club. Oh, this one's tough. All the Dutch players make me think this is Netherlands. This can't be Ajax, because I don't think Ajax. Ajax have got any Mexican players, but PSV do have. I'm taking a chance. I think this is PSV. Just because I feel the Mexican is Herving Lozano. And yes, indeed, it was Herving Lozano. We get this one right. Oh, but PSV don't really have any standout players we can bring in. Maybe a few players for the bench or something. To be honest, Lozano at 27 million seems like a solid deal. I just realized we're already down to sub 400 million. Still need to focus a bit more on the defense. Let's get this guess correct and bring in their defender. Hopefully, they've got a good defender, but this one's giving me Newcastle vibes because if the Paraguayan flag on the right, it's got to be Almiron, Bruno in the midfield, Joe Linton. Yup, yup, yup. This is Newcastle. Yo, I'm on a decent streak right now. And thankfully, Newcastle have got Sven Botman. We needed a defender, and this was a perfect match. And actually, I'm surprised at how cheap Botman was. Okay, guys, we've almost got our full first team sorted. Just like three positions left to do. Maybe I can start spending a bit more money because, yeah, we've got three, four. 
40 million left and I don't want to be left with money. We need to use all of it. Oh, but I've no idea what this club is. Like, it's probably a French club, but I have literally no clue. Yep, just, I, I just don't know. What is this going to be? Olympic Leo. How is I supposed to guess that? And Leon's worst player is this guy. 17-year-old Justin Bengui. Well, I guess he's going to be our backup goalkeeper. Okay, I'm not getting this next one wrong. Oh, this looks like an English club. Wait, wait, wait. Japanese player on the left. Mitoma. Brighton. I'm going with Brighton for this one. And yes, sir, it's Brighton indeed. Just spent 25 million to get Estupinian from Brighton. Nobody else was really a good option. Plus, Estupinian's 80 rated, so not too bad. We need some big clubs, and I think this is a big club. Egyptian has to be Mo Salah. Darwin Nunes up top. Yup, I'm going with Liverpool. This has to be Liverpool. Yes, sir, we got this one right, and this could be big, because we can sign one of these players now to our team. We've still got about 320 million left. Do I just go crazy and get Mo Salah? And that's exactly what I've done. Mo Salah is joining the team. But you know what? I was surprised that we were able to get him for just 80 million. Salah definitely drained our budget, but we've still got about 222 million left. I need to get at least a good midfielder and a good right back. But even after that, our bench is going to be a bit stinky. I don't know if I should go for cheap players and just build an overall good squad, or should I just go all in on my first team? I'm tempted to do the latter. Kind of depends, though, if we can get the guesses right. Oh, this next one's easy, because when I see South Korean, you just know it's got to be Spurs, because that's Hyung Min Son. See? I told you. And since our team still needed a right back, Pedro Porro was like the best option from Spurs, and he only costed us about 35 million. The only position left in our first team is midfield. Let's get this guest right and sign a midfielder. Ooh, but which club is this? Polish? I mean, I can only think of Lewandowski, but this does not look like Barcelona. Okay, wait, no, it does. Frankie de Jong, Gundogan, Ronald Araujo, Cancelo at right back. Yup, this has got to be Barcelona. And yes, it is Barcelona. I was a bit confused because I didn't see two Spaniards in the midfield because there's no Pedri, but instead they've put Gavi. Makes sense. But here's the tough part, boys. I kind of want to just blow all our money on Pedri. How much is he going to cost us? About maybe 120, 130 million? We do have the money to do this, but then I don't think we're going to be making any more big transfers. But imagine Pedri going in there alongside Bellingham and Rice. This team would be crazy. I'm doing it. I know it might hamper our bench, but I don't care at this point. Let's get Pedri into the team. And why is Xavi wearing a Barcelona jersey while I'm negotiating with him? This is hilarious. I should be able to get Pedri for 130 million and there you go. With Pedri coming in, our first team is actually more than good enough to win the Champions League. We actually still have 47 million, so there's still room for improving this team just a little bit. But I've got no idea which this team is. Okay, wait, let me think. This has got to be a club from the Serie A because of the Italians. Couple of Argentinians. Wait, wait, wait. This could be Dybala and Romelu Lukaku. Tomori at the back. No, wait, can't be Tomori, but Chris Smalling. So, Roma. Oh, that was clutch. That was clutch that I got this one. Let's go. I'm seeing if there are any players that can just improve squad depth right now because that's all what we need. And I think this is going to be the final player we sign. Maybe bringing in Mankini. I managed to get him for 41 million. And yup, that's pretty much our entire budget used up. And so this is the team we were able to build after playing through the Guess the Football Club game, as well as a billion pounds. And honestly, Mbappe, Bellingham, Pedri, Salah, bro, this team is good. And I'm actually proud of myself for completing a full squad of 18 players. And I think my score was 14 guesses correct and 4 incorrect. So that's not too bad. Let me know in the comments how many you guys got right. But time to see if this club can win the Champions League somehow. I am a bit unsure because of how bad this bench is, but we'll see. All right, let's see if we can start off the Champions League with a win. I mean, come on, we've got Mbappe. And there you go. I told you, investing in the first team, I think was the right call. And we've actually easily topped our Champions League crew. Oh, I'm not surprised. Look at Mbappe. He scored in every single game for us. We got the easiest possible draw in the round of 16, Royal Antwerp, and we knocked them out. Oh, but Inter Milan's gonna be a challenge. But come on, we've got Mbappe and Salah up top. We're winning this game. Let's do this. And there you go. Got the job done in the second leg, too. Ooh, but now this is gonna be the biggest test for the team we've built. Oh, and we lost the first leg 2-1. Second leg, and we need to somehow beat Bayern. And this is where I'm seeing the problem of not building a good squad depth. Because look at our first team. They're all completely tired. I don't know how we're gonna survive Bayern. And we don't. They destroy us. So I guess the Champions League semifinals was the limit for this team. One thing I've learned from this video is that you've got to invest in good squad depth. Otherwise, big teams like Bayern will crush you. If you enjoyed this video, why not watch me build a team of just 
Ballon d'Or winners. That team was the greatest team I've ever seen. Click here to watch that.